Hi there, welcome to another workbench guide. This is part 14 and in this part you can see running an all 30 ECS setup and running the standard setup that we saw last time. So now let's check out some workbench hacks and also some workbench pets as well. You might be familiar with the old tools directory that we saw in a previous video of how to, you know, how to hack the computer. So in here I've just put some extra tools and one of those is Animan and this as far as I know I think you need a microphone or some kind of input to teach this guy to speak and you can have any kind of output sound device that you want it's just running on Paul at the moment and CIA times and those kinds of things learn directions I think you need a microphone to teach this guy how to do things Please learn new voice command. You can see an animated face there, and those are actually very fun to see. And also, uh, you can teach that guy to say things and maybe other things. You can see another thing here. This is Ami Pet, and this gives us a sheep. Unfortunately, it's just died. So this Ami Pet is a bit more like a Tammy Gotchi kind of thing and so the first thing that we're going to need to do is well my last pet survived for 30 minutes before it died as being alive for that it died of starvation so we can click on hopefully new pet and that will start our sheep again and you can't resize this window unfortunately but let's just feed it and give it a meal let's wake it up and give it a meal first of all so we know that it's eating something and then what can we do we can play with it we can clean it up and we can vet it which means put some chemicals into it and we can also punish it as well play which way left or right and so i have no idea but this sheep will actually walk eventually and start eating grass and doing its own thing so we can place that sheep in the corner and we can have our Ami pet going and you can also see various other Tammy Gotchi things in there as well there are tons and tons of Tammy Gotchis we're not too worried too much about them so in here we can see that we can activate all of our hacks and one of those is the Amiga Boing Balls and these are actually interactive so if I wave my mouse pointer over them I can actually move them and force them to go where I want to move them to and this stays on the screen and this uses actually the pointer colours so there they are boing 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 and that's a very neat hack that you can have all of your workbench another one is bouncy world and this is as you can see it's really on workbench 3 you can bounce the entire world around if you really want to do that and our sheep seems to be munching the ground whilst it's asleep i'm not quite sure but you can see our world is now bouncy you can have it a nice heavy world if you really want to do that or if you increase the bounce and decrease the friction and the force well you can see it bounces around much more quickly that's our bouncy world and so all of these do different things and Ami Roach, window washer, lemming so let's put a window washer on there and that means that a window washer will now move across the screen and it will clean our icons for us this is actually the third time that I've recorded this footage the first time I played around with all these apps and had a great time but I forgot to record it and the second time I recorded it but I didn't record the voice so this is the third time that I'm actually watching this and recording the voice at the same time you can see the author is there and yes these apps will continue over the top of whatever we've got running well let's see water soap bucket your thing that, that'll be a fiver governor so all these things will do different things Ami Roach and as far as I know if you keep that window open 
it will keep having me roach open or maybe we can close it I'm not sure but what that does is it puts some roaches in the background and they will automatically hide and seek behind any windows that we've got open and it's a neat trick to see roaches running around on our workbench it's not normal for this to happen but you know you wouldn't see any mac users having this and even today on a modern pc you won't have these background tasks running around doing different things and so unable to open your two well i can x well we'll come back to that i think later on let's just see what i actually did well i actually told it where i can x is and forced it to work and it then reset so what we're going to do now is reset the computer and that will put us back on to where we were before so let's try that again start wb lemming and what that will do is it will put a lemming on the screen and unfortunately for some reason due to the way that i've got this screen mode set up it's not actually registering that it's on the screen so i've no idea that's supposed to walk along the top of your windows and fall down walk along the top and fall down and that kind of thing but unfortunately for some reason it's not actually working on this maybe it's not compatible with workbench 3 i think this is definitely compatible with workbench 2 so that's probably the reason why these lemmings aren't working but if we move to a public screen at any point and those lemmings are on there then they will work so it's just the public screen well the actual screen that we're using at the moment so we've got Ami roaches working we've got our sheep nice and happy we've got lemmings floating down the screen and we can also check out these sea monkeys as well and these move in well nice fashion on this screen it's an interlaced screen so you can see the lemmings didn't work on the sea monkey screen and we'll hopefully return back to that later on and some of these apps aren't compatible with emulators so this swish one the first time i used it it did actually work it's supposed to move the screen kind of rotate it around in a circle like that like that but now for some reason it's not working maybe it's conflicting with the roaches you well, I have no idea because none of these things are compatible with each other and so unfortunately that does not seem to work and as i say some of these won't work on top of each other so some of them you'll just have to try and if they do work then maybe put those in the user startup sequence so you can have those moving on to your workbench at any point and you can see various eye programs as well if you like eyes following you around the screen so let's just switch on some of them and that eye appeared in the toolbar it's just disappeared but it was in that toolbar and i've got at least four of them and so what else can we get really all these are workbench hacks that i managed to find on a cd of all things and it was called i think it was called well it wasn't called marble madness but it was um a cd that i found for the cd tv i'm not quite sure how that works but it was something like marble madness or something like that got it had all these ridiculously crap pd marble games on there but it had all these hacks as well so tilt again i don't think that well it does actually work with win uae tilts the screen and that's just funny hack that you can do it's not really something you can make use of but there it is it tilts the screen it shows that it was possible to do whatever you want with that screen and screen melt that only works from the cli unfortunately running the mischief command if anything happens on the workbench screen which the mischief command has done for us it will automatically laugh and perform that action you can see the screen is now locked out and that means the lemming is now working for a change and they're now walking on the screens but unfortunately that hack program that i used has now locked the screen out so i can use the pointer but i can't unfortunately do anything else with my workbench you can see it's also frozen the roaches as well behind us 
and in front of us we've got the lemmings moving around and our sheep still healthy all I can do at this point is reset the machine and admire those effects do 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 So the mischief one sometimes crashes the computer and all of these things sometimes randomly crash the computer. Some of them aren't a hundred percent compatible with the emulator that I'm running at the moment and some of them are and the Ami Pet seems to run nevertheless so that runs in its own window so that's fine we'll try again with the mischief the first thing it does is close all of the windows under our mouse pointer so when mischief's working it will do that and that will mean that we have to load them all up again the mischief will then start to close any window that we've got running at the moment and then it will start to do random things like swap the left and right mouse buttons around it will start to move the screen down of its own accord it will swap the up and down and the left right mouse around and it will do all kinds of things to annoy the user and if you double click on the mischief again then it will actually start to mess around horizontally and make the screen collapse and all kinds of things so you don't really want to run the mischief twice otherwise it's going to lead to even worse effects and you can see already at the moment conflicting things means things are starting to slow down and i've put some kind of eat it on i think i ran eat it and eat it is slowly eating away at our icons and it's slowly moving its way around the screen that's not the speed of the amiga slowing down that's just the speed of the eat it program moving its way very slowly munching its way through all these icons you can have those on the background as well it will start to munch away at those and so eat it is a kind of small tiny pixels on our screen which munches away at whatever windows that we've got running and so it's kind of fun to have these tools floating around in the background and certainly some are worse than others you can see I'm struggling now with the mouse simply because it's reversed my controls and the only thing you can do sometimes is to run Pryman and Pryman at least lists everything that we've got running on that machine and that means that we can get rid of things if we really want to do that and you see the munchers eat it is eating its way through the priority manager application which is fun to see it eats it really slowly so let's get rid of well we could get rid of the mischief it's doing all kinds of things at the moment and again if you run that twice that will run even more different kinds of things which can be fun if someone's on the computer and messing around with somebody else's computer and as I said the only way to get rid of it is to use Pryman and then that will stop all those random things happening so now hopefully I can put everything back together and let's see we've got eat it running as well sometimes if you remove these things in the wrong order it crashes the system and so eat it seems to have frozen right that's it just refresh that screen so the watches with this one you can see it watches as close and it opens up its pupils when we go into the bottom corner and that's not running very smoothly at the moment but I have had that running very smoothly and that's quite fun so we've checked out that we've ch checked out them move toy let's see squeak walk man well walking man is pretty good that will interfere with our lemmings character but it will use its own custom um, palette and we can have up to five of them walking on the screen at the same time for going to them unfortunately because we've got the lemmings on we can only activate two of them at the same time because the lemmings are going to take up another sprite that we can add and at the moment only one lemmings floating around the screen because it can't walk on the screen but those things are working you can add and remove your own characters and having five walking men on the screen is fun and you can definitely manipulate them by moving the windows around and so let's see if we can do that 
and one of them is trapped in the title bar it will light a torch if it can't find its way it will light a torch of its own accord and it will stand around and it will start climbing up things so let's move that around we unfortunately you can't interact with them they will interact with everything you've got running on the screen including the sea monkeys and you can see that the guys are there it's slowed down action a little bit because it's having a little bit more to think about on the computer and the more of these hacks that you're running of course the slower things are going to get but I noticed if you're running well that's running in a high screen mode as well so things do work on top of each other and that's nice to see and Ami Pet didn't work unfortunately on Workbench 3 maybe that works on Workbench 1.3 or maybe even Workbench 2 so Blob, I'm trying to run Blob at the moment that's just crashed the system once again the Lemmings task is still working but it's now working and that will now touch the bottom of the screen and walk around the rest of the workbench is fortunately has crashed so it's time to reset that computer again and this time for the last five minutes let's check out the rest of these hacks so which ones have we got left? Well Blob puts a blob of blood down the screen and that uses its own palette and that doesn't interfere with the lemming but as soon as you put the walking guys on it will and the walking guys will change the blood into acid and so we've now got acid drops dripping down the screen and we've now got bugs eating it that's a bit bigger than the eat it one those munch through everything and they move a lot quicker as well And you can see that we've put the eaters on as well. The eaters will go through our borders and eat things around icons. And you can see the munch is now munching away. And the eat it is more like snakes. The eaters are more like snakes. They go around the line at the very bottom of the screen. You can see eating around the corners. And you can see the bugs that we've just activated are now eating away at the rest. The move toy simply puts a moving object around and that moves very slowly even if you've got a fast CPU. So I'm not quite sure about that. Hello, hello. Sweet, sweet. Version 2.1. Version 2.1. Was written by Stephen Yeager and Tom Wicker. Was written by Stephen Yeager and Tom Wicker. To exit press the mouse and joystick buttons. To exit press the mouse and joystick buttons. At the same time. At the same time, and screen melt unfortunately only works with CLI. If you type in screen melt 500 500, that will melt the middle of the screen area and make a nice waterfall effect. And then you can refresh the screen to get rid of that. And so I have got screen melt working on this system, but you'd need a launch script to launch that, and you can have it whatever screen width you want. I think this is running at 620 so screen melt 620 times 400 would put it as wide as the screen and as deep as the screen but it would stop just before the bottom if you're running a PAL machine and now we've just put something else on blobs I think it said and our little man is getting lost in the bottom corner of the screen and the blobs will fly around and you can see we can change various parameters as well we can even make those chase the mouse pointer around and if we're running a fast CPU at the moment they would chase around even quicker and I don't think I've even got the CPU caches on at the moment just in case they interfere with any of this stuff going on but you can see we can now follow the mouse pointer with all these lines we've got the eaters or whatever they are munching away our interactive man's bouncing around off them and so we can get all kinds of things moving around on screen at any one time so we can quit that and so we've got a proper screen hack effect now with all kinds of things bouncing around and yet again we need the pry man to do anything about that that's one essential tool so if you kill these in the wrong order unfortunately your workbench is going to crash and so that's precisely what's happening at the moment 
and the bugs is a heavy task so if you try to get rid of that and if you have too much else going on that will mean the too much else carries on because it's a multitasking system but unfortunately the task that has frozen has now locked the system out so that's the drawback of not having any memory protection on the Amiga and that's the one thing that they couldn't pile in there and they didn't develop until it was way too late so again screen melt doesn't work am I going to activate that with the probably not no usually if you double click things it comes up with an option box and you can simply type it in but unfortunately it's not doing that at the moment so what we've got we've got a life toy and this was developed on the mainframes and it was ported to every console and computer under the sun from the PDP-8 to the TRS-80 and the Sol-20 and everything in between every computer worth of its salt got some kind of life toy and that just makes life forms appear and even with this all 30 it's crawling along thank you